as I've, as I've been, the reason that this is, this is all structured in this way is that I've, I've studied all of these things for a long time. And Panya, your question at the beginning of how do these, how do you reconcile all of these different systems of tarot and astrology and Chinese medicine? And why did I choose these ones to go into this system? Why are there 55 archetypes? Um, it struck me during a plant medicine journey to look at the human spinal cord. And then as I started to do that, I realized that based on the bone structure of the human body, that's what the, where these different systems emerge from and why different cultures have had these different lenses that look at it through a different numbered lens. And they're all correct. They're all different ways of looking at the same picture, but the number system is based on like, you can think of it, you know, it's like the blind men touching the elephant where each blind man is touching a different part of the elephant and feels, feels its body differently. And it's like, they're all right, but they're just looking at a different part of the animal's body. So I just made this little map that shows it. So in the skull of the human skeleton, there's 22 bones and there's 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, which is where the tarot archetypes come from. There's seven bones in the neck, seven chakras, 12 signs of the zodiac, 12 bones in the thoracic spine, which is connected to the rib cage, five bones in the lumbar spine, five elements in the Chinese medicine system and then nine bones in the tailbone and coccyx, which connects to this nine leveled underworld, which is it, it's a, it's found in so many different cultures. The Aztecs have a nine leveled underworld, or Dante's Inferno, the Norse mythology has a nine leveled underworld. And there's many that have, have this nine leveled view of reality. And so each of these things are looking at like a different aspect of what a human being is. So in the skull, we see things from this like story symbolism. So these 22 archetypes of the, the tarot, it's like, a, it's like a, care, a role that we play and like the setting that that role plays out in versus the chakras are, are these vibrations. They're like emotional vibrational energies that we embody. And then the 12 sons of the zodiac is like how we move through time. And then the five elements are these, these physical aspects of like how alchemical processes unfold in physical reality. And then these nine, the nine levels of the underworld are the, these, like the obstacles that we face in the journey of our becoming, which is intimately tied into this top part of the, the tarot. So each, each character, each role in the, um, in the tarot archetypes has it, a, a role and the, the, stage that that role plays out on and an underworld that is the obstacle to that. 